Hello and welcome back to the Canny Caledonians in Imperator Rome. So, we've taken a little bit more land up here. We've definitely expanded quite a lot. Uh, the call for peace one should go away in a second because we have now peaced out. We have a disloyal character, which we need to deal with. They have quite a lot of strength. So I'm thinking our main goals right now are to build up some more strength. Our manpower has also dropped quite low as well. So build up some strength and then basically... Um, yeah, prepare for the next war, wherever that war is going to be. So, uh, we're heading up here, that's fine. How old are we now, out of curiosity? We're 34, okay. And the person who we want to die, uh, our disloyal person here, they are 41. Okay, we could try and smear the reputation or something like that. But there's not a lot we can really do to our clan chief. Hmm, okay. Um, let's just head up this way and see, you know, see where things take us. So yes, as we thought, the disloyal army has gone down there. We're going to head up here. It's all generally alright. We're not quite large enough to be called a um, regional power yet, I think. I think we're still a local power. How many tr uh, do we need to have to become a regional power? Uh, regional power, we have to have 25 to 99 cities. We currently have between 2 and 24, which seems about right. Um, we currently have... Does it show number of cities in each province? No. How do, how, where do we see cities? Is that at the top there? Ah, yes, we have 12 cities. Okay, that's fine. We also have quite a lot of population in a lot of them. Uh, so they all all of these ones have quite low. Oh, that one has a free men and citizens. Okay, but they all generally have quite low numbers. How are we looking up here? Did, has our population gone up at all? Oh, this one's got eight. Oh, wow. So does it tell us when we're expecting the next one? At any point here? No, not really. Apparently we can have an extra building in this city. We should do. So let's get a granary here. Uh, we have a lot of money to spend, so this seems like a good time to spend it. We've already built our granary there. Oh, there we go. Does that show when you get the next one? I think it does. Uh, yes. Yes, it does. Okay, and if you have nothing... If you have no um, things in that slot, then you don't get any growth, right? Oh, wait, no. Um, maybe we only... Maybe we're only ever going to get uh, tribesmen. Like, we only get population coming in at the lowest level. That might be it, yeah. Uh, what else could we want? We could get something that gives us more local manpower, more marketplace stuff. Maybe I'll get some more manpower up here. Just try and build a few things like that. Uh, maybe I'll build another fortress up here as well. Just basically try and boost up um, a couple of our st of the stuff that we need. We still have the disloyal character. We have a disloyal province. Okay. This whole province is disloyal? How do I make the province loyal? Probably don't. I probably just have to sit troops on top of it, which I guess is what they've done. Uh, we can do trade routes, but um, not right now. Because I guess there's... Oh, no. There was one that was allowing us to trade. Um, base. We can get more base metals down there if we need it. Uh, which would... We don't already have base metals in that area, so it would allow us to get troops there quickly. But that's not something we need to worry about. Prominent centralization. Okay, so... Um, Atero Vistus is uh, Senatus, is one of our more uh, prominent clan chiefs and a strong leader of his people. Uh, though loyalty to our central rule has come into question lately, Kunalava uh, Markana has suggested moving some of that clan under our authority. Okay. So, she's the disloyal one. So I can say all the clans belong to, uh, belong to us. So what does that do? It gives us more centralization. And then gets uh, us some more prominence. Ours is already maxed out though. Loyalty and prominence go down for him. And tribesmen move to Caledonia. I see. We also get some local unrest. I mean, say, moving some of his people are only natural. So we'd still get the tribesmen moving. We would lo We wouldn't get as much prominence. Uh, and his loyalty... His prominence wouldn't drop as much, but his loyalty would. Or we'll let things progress naturally. In which case, we get nothing. But... I need to keep him loyal, and she's already disloyal, so we'll let things pro progress naturally. That's fine. Right. Let things go. Uh, ooh, we can get a new omen. Uh, my tribal chief uh, has risen in Caledonian Highlands. We should ready our troops to put down this rabble. There are barbarians here? Oh, there are. Okay. Appearing out of the Highlands. Uh, Alright, we need a new omen. What's our new omen going to be? 
We could get national tax, which would be quite nice to have extra national tax for a little bit. Research points as well it could be a good time. Population growth is what we just had, and that again could be quite nice. I'm going to take population growth again. I really want to grow our population and start getting... Because we have a lot of provinces we can colonize around us. So it would be really useful if we were, had the ability to move into those. Uh, especially like here, that would be great. Anyway, we'll see. See what we can do. Uh, the barbarians were victorious over here, apparently. Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean this is now held by barbarians, or what? Uh, no, we have a truce with that. I don't know what victor barbarians victorious means, but that's fine. Alliance from Coritania. We should potentially get more alliances, so they're to the south of us. That seems like a really good alliance for us, actually. Yeah, because we're probably going to want to break our alliance with either Britannia or um, or uh, Damnonia here. And that would be a good opportunity for us to do it. Yeah, I'm going to accept that offer. Yeah, okay. So, who are we now allied with? Out of curious. So, we're now allied with Britannia, uh, Bridgantia, and Damnonia. Okay. We have a truce of these two. We have military access through there, which we can probably take away. We're exporting to there, and we're importing to there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what about these guys? Who are they? They, they kind of hold land that could... Mm, they're not quite bordering us right now. Yeah, our land's a little bit split up. We have a little bit of border gore going on, but that's okay. Right. His loyalty is zero down here. Still not entirely sure what that means. Okay, so its loyalty has changed each month due to him... But each province, okay, each um, city in the province uh, doesn't like us. Is there anything we can do to get loyalty? So if I go in here, we could assimilate them, making them my culture. Currently, they're uh, brigantic. Okay. Or we could move them. I suppose what we could do is we could move some population from, like, um, one, of, one of the places that likes us down there, potentially. Uh, so why, can I see why they have unrest? Uh, loyalty, unrest, okay, which is then multiplied. Uh, okay. But it still doesn't tell me why. Oh, if I go here? War exhaustion is a good reason for it. Unhappy pops, okay. And why are you unhappy? So if I go in here, does it tell me why they're unhappy? Um, below 50% happiness, yes, but why? Oh, there we go. Is tribe aggressive expansion. Okay. Non-pick culture. They would need quite a lot to be happy. Is there anything I can do to be like, hey, just be happy? Um, Doesn't look like it. So why are my people up here happy? Or are they just, are they also unhappy? They're also unhappy. I see. Well, that's fine. Um, but if I go down here... So there's unrest because they're below 50%. There's really nothing I can do right there. Unless I change, like, the trade good that's coming in. Uh, let's see. Is anyone wanting to trade here? What kind of trade goods would I want? Like, local citizen happiness would probably be pretty good. Something like dyes. But nobody's trading dyes. And same thing with wine. Nobody's trading wine or olives or... Okay. Be woad is what I need. I think I might want to cancel my woad that I'm sending out. That Yeah, so if I say, uh, hey, I don't want to send you woad anymore. How do I do that? I guess I would chain, change my... Tr uh, so in here... Probably wouldn't be in here, would it? So where do I have woad? Uh, it's up this way. Chance of piracy. Hmm, interesting. Um, current imports. Looking for like current exports. Oh, would it be? Is there a trade? There's a trade overview. There we go. So can I say stop that? This will cancel the trade route. Yeah, and that would increase our national happiness. Okay, it loses us 0.6 per month. But I think I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. So, we would lose the following benefits. We'd lose 5%, but that would give us 10% back, I think, because we'd have a surplus. 
Yeah, we'd have a surplus, which I think would give us 10% back. So let's let's cancel that. Let's see what we get. Yeah, so we get the capital surplus. We get 10%. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay. We could potentially change our imports as well. Uh, but I'll keep them where they are for just now. Just not to... Well, no, let's try it. Let's, let's change our imports as well. How many trade routes do I have? I have one trade route. Nothing else wants to trade here? Okay. Oh, it says we cannot have any more imports at the moment. Well, if I cancel that, right? Let's just throw caution to the wind. We'll cancel it, and then we'll try another one. So I'll go here, trade route. No, oh, right. The only people who want to trade is furs. All right, well, I'll get my fur trade route back. That's fine. It makes sense that that's still available as well. Okay, let's unpause. Let things go. I'm imagining we're going to have revolts soon, but by trying to increase... I'm basically just trying to increase their opinion of me. Um... Okay, so if I now go in here, let's have a look at their opinion of me. Oh, their happiness has still not really gone up a lot. Or is that because the happiness only applies to this area? Oh, it only applies to tribesmen, obviously. That's why it says tribesmen happiness, isn't it? Tribesmen absolutely love me, but I don't have any tribesmen in some of these areas. So if I go to the tribesmen in, like, this area, they quite like me. Okay, because we have tribes and things. Okay, so they don't have a problem with me. It's only the people who aren't tribesmen who have a problem with me. Really. Tribesmen already liked me at pretty much 100% for many, many reasons. Okay. What's the elder 9%? Is that because we're an older character now? We're not really an elder at 34, are we? Maybe we are. I don't know. Hmm. I see. So they're, they're fine. What about free men? So free men also don't like me. Just because we're a tribe, basically. Okay. So ideally, we'd want to change from being a tribe if we wanted people to like us more. So if we wanted to embrace uh, democracy or, or autocracy, how would we do that? Uh, we'd have to have stability greater than 1. We'd have to have a city civilization level equal to 50. Is that the same for both of them? Yeah, increased council powers uh, for one and not increased council powers for the other. This one would have to have absolute authority. Okay. So this would be in our laws menu, which we haven't had a look at yet. That's in government show laws. Okay. So here, we currently have fragmented clans in this one. Uh, we actually, we do have enough to change laws right now. Oh, but the current chief is not loyal. All right. Yeah. So that, yeah, that would stop it. Apparently. Uh, that's fine. So, does this just mean I can't do it? Okay, Chief uh, Kunalava. So, can I fire Chief Kunalava? Or is that not the way it works? Where is Chief Kunalava? Alright, so they're not even on there. So, it's just because one chief says no. Basically, all chiefs say no. Centralization is 22, and it's not changing. That's fine. So it doesn't go down by the looks of it, it just... Yeah, okay, that's fine. But laws, law-wise, uh, is there anything that makes other people happy that aren't tribesmen? Uh, no, but there are a few ones that increase our centralization. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, none of that's going to make people like us more. Okay. The 1% loyalty is definitely not the best way. I think I'm going to try and make friends with this guy. We have a lot of extra oratory power and religious power, so I might try and make friends. I get the feeling I'm not being, uh, I'm not min-maxing as much as I could here, but that's okay. That's fine. Right, we'll carry on. Uh, benefits of power. So I can lose 30 and get some tyranny, but this could potentially make him like me more. Let's try it. Yeah, I want him to like me. I want to keep one uh, very loyal character. Um, I'm gonna get him a camel. It didn't seem to lose me any money. Am I crazy? That that didn't lose me money. Wait, do I have a separate bit of money, or was that? Not entirely sure, but that didn't seem to make me lose money. Or maybe it just doesn't allow you to do it if you don't have the money, potentially. Anyway, uh, let's have a look here. They want to import my wood. Uh, oh, wood. Okay, that's fine. We get Trireme uh, Discipline. 
I'm not really worried about that. I'll take it for the money, though. Uh, I'm going to spend some of my oratory power to make a uh, publicly to praise him and his deeds. Let's see what he says about that. Oh, we have uh, an army that's a little bit um, hurt there. We'll just say, go wherever you like. I was spurned by him. Oh, no. We've never been spurned by two of them. Ooh, granary's been built up here. Okay, so does, when's the next pot being built? Does it tell us the actual date? No, it just tells you that... Oh, no, it does tell us the date. So another, uh, what, 13 years we'll have another population. It's currently not going very quickly, but that's okay. Okay, does our stability affect that? I can't see because we don't have any stability right now. That's fine. Does it tell me? No. Okay. That is absolutely fine. Uh, okay. Uh, dropping appearances. Kuno Lava Margana, a woman of control of a sizable and personally loyal force, has demanded... Uh, has delivered a demand for additional funds. No mention is made of what these funds are used for, and we assume that this is an attempt to assert dominance over our clan council. Nonetheless, are we really in a position to be able to deny these demands? We can pay her, she gains loyalty, or we can say no and she would lose 20 loyalty. No? Okay, you want to get my woad. I think I'm going to say yes to that, actually. Yeah. I'm okay with that. We can get more money out of it. Doesn't really bother me. Seems to work for me overall. Right. Uh, yes, that seems fine. Right. Uh, we still have a very disloyal character. We have some buildings constructing. Our manpower is going up. I might want to build some more troops soon. Oh, it seems that Ariovistus Senatus is buying creating a civil war in our country. What? Oh, so she has convinced him to join the Civil War. Oh, okay. So I have an Arbitrer, which is unassigned. So we'll choose uh, that guy. Okay. Um, I can call my allies. Uh, it seems like a good time to call my allies. <laughs> they would say no. This one would say yes. Okay. That's fine. I guess some more might say yes now. So if I check this one, he might, they might now say yes, okay. And it was because of war balance previously, some were saying no, so now that we got some more people in it. Um, which one was next? That one. Yeah, so now they'll say yes because of war balance. So we do have three allies, which is helping us. We're unmarried, apparently. Oh, okay. I'd like to marry. I, I don't know. Who do I want to marry? Uh, I don't really know what the consequences are for marriage here and what this actually affects. I think it's only the opinion, generally. And maybe loyalty? Uh, maybe I will marry... I don't know. Uh, him? Sure. Maybe that was a bad decision. We're in the Civil War. That's fine. Uh, we have a bad research ratio. Bad research ratio. Okay. Uh, so actually, because they're in my war, I have I automatically have a way through. Okay, to that army. That's fine. No, no, you're not operating independently anymore. You're, you're under my control there, mister. Uh, okay, let's figure out how we want to deal with this. Hmm. What's this option? Force march. No. Where are you heading? You're heading into my lands. This is an imminent battle. It's unclear which side will win. So we have three archers and um, three skirmishers. They have four archers, two skirmishers, and one chariot. Our commander has less martial. The land is plains. Okay. So I'm not feeling positive. So what, about, so what have we got here? Skirmishing. Um... Would deal less against an army using deception or triplex. I assume they're using skirmishing. What about this one? So effectiveness uh, for the different cohorts time. Okay, that's fine. So I need to figure out what they're using, basically. This is uh, effective against bottleneck and cavalry. If I think that you're using skirmishing, I have, I have no way to take advantage of that. Okay, that's fine. Deception would be bad against us, but I don't think they're using it. Okay, so if we had a more complex army type, that would matter, but right now we don't. Um, I think we're probably going to lose the battle, but we'll see. 
I'm fairly certain we're going to lose it. But we'll slow it down. Military access. Oh yeah, I have it. Definitely. You can have as much military access as you like. Okay, so it is 7,000 versus 7,000. They're using deception, so we're less effective against them, I think. Yeah, it's 20% strength against skirmishing. But not all of their troops are good with that, I think. So if I, so if I had chosen something that wasn't skirmishing, if I had chosen one that was good against deception, then we would have had an advantage here, I think. Yeah. Okay, we have equal discipline. Our leader is worse. Uh, but they have, they have, oh, our morale is above max. I see. Well, that's pretty good. Let's uh, slow it down and see what happens. So, we got bad dice roll. That's definitely not great. But their morale is, our morale is still higher. So they might lose because our morale starts to tire. Yeah, I think that might be what's going to happen here. Although we are running out of troops on each side. Oh wait, no, we got the better roll to start with. Never mind, I had the people the wrong way around. That's fine. Now it seems to be kind of stopping a little bit. Neither side is really winning or losing. Alright, we killed one there. So now it's chariots versus R3. Is that the way it works? I think we might have been very lucky. I'm not 100% sure how this is meant to work, but we'll see. We are rolling zeros, which seems fairly bad to me. Morale-wise, how are we looking? Ours is still higher, but it's not looking great. Now it's just our one versus their one. I assume we're going to lose? I'm not 100% sure. Seems our allies are going to win the war for us either way. Yeah, we were defeated. So we killed 2,000 troops. They killed 2,500 troops. Okay. So we're actually retreating all the way up here. Oh, wait, what army is that? Uh, oh, that's just a loyal clan person. Okay, that's fine. Who's built up an army. Well, that seems good. Yes, that seems very good. Um, Wait, did our army get wiped? I think our army got wiped, our other army. Yeah, so, wait, is that our full army? Yeah, so we have two different armies there. Neither of them are the right one for us. Wait, does that mean we have new clan chiefs if we go to government? I do have new clan chiefs. I see. Okay, so they're building up their armies. But that's still not going to help us an awful lot. Hmm. Hopefully my allies can win the war, I guess? Uh, petitioner approaches. A strapping young adult by the name of... Cat... Catulanus Chorus approaches our tribal chief in private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision of the near future in which he was found by his loved ones, having been sacrificed to the dark gods. With shaking hands, he offered all his worldly goods to the state in return for our protection. Convince him that all will be well and we gain oratory power, or we can gain money. I think we're going to take the money right now? Yeah. Scorned families. Uh, family is scorned unless its members receive jobs. Okay, and that'll make them less loyal, I assume. Yeah, but the reason... Wait. Uh, where's where's the scorn bit? So the Morgani family feels scorned, but is that not because the, she is now leading a uh, re revolt against us? Yeah, okay, you can be scorned. What do I care? Yeah, stop leading a revolt against me. Essentially. You you want to be in power? Stop, stop fighting the people in power. Right. Uh, I've received an alliance offer from them. Hmm. Interesting. They're obviously scared of us. But do I want to be at war right now? Not really. I'm going to accept their offer. Yeah. Due to their own choice, it said there. <laughs> Very weird way of putting it. They will not accept the call to arms? Oh, because they have low ma manpower. Oh, they basically just wanted us to be in war so we wouldn't declare on them. I see. We're not really in a position to declare on them either way. Right. Uh, join the other, join your troops, your other troops there. Nope, just just leave them to die, I guess. Well, that's one way to do things. Um, it does seem like al um, armies don't seem to want to join up very much in this game. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.